Today we can learn how to fix crossed eyes or squint eyes in Photoshop very easily. So without any further ado, let's get started. Crossed eyes can be natural, but more often than not, the angle of the subject or the camera is such that the eyes appear to be a little disaligned. We can easily fix that using Photoshop. It's not rocket science. So first of all, let's zoom in and using the tool called Lasso, you can just make a selection around the eyeball, give it a little space like that and put it on its own layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Now, with the move tool or the arrow keys, you can slowly and gradually move it to the right just a little bit. Okay, arrow keys move slower. You can use the move tool and move it. I think that's all right. Let's move it to the left a little bit, move it down a little bit. And let's turn this off and on. Don't worry about the edge. It doesn't align well. We will learn how to align it. But have a look, before, after. It has, it's looking pretty good, better than before. Okay. That's good. Make sure the distance between this and this is equal to the distance between this and this. Once that is assured, zoom in. And then first of all, let's soften up the edges. Create a mask, take the brush, make sure the foreground color is black because black hides white shows when it comes to masks. Select the mask and paint around the corner. Make sure the flow is somewhere around 20, 30% and paint around the corners, make it softer. See how nicely it has begun to match like that easy as a pie let's have a look at the before and after so this is the before this is the after we need to paint this area in white because we don't want to let go of it okay that's pretty good now how do we align it suppose this was not aligned this was a difficult image how do we align it bring it back to the layer press ctrl or command t right click in here and choose warp now using warp you can align it the way you like you can just bring it a little top you can just align over here now while you're aligning see it's not aligning we'll just try to align it like that bring it a little up now while you are aligning make sure you zoom out and have a look at the other eye it shouldn't be that that this goes way to the right or to the left and the eyeball becomes bigger or smaller so once you do it, hit enter if you're satisfied and you're pretty much good to go. Have a look at the before and after. So this is the after, this is the before, after, before, after, you moved the eyeball. Now you can use the clone stamp tool and other tools to fix the eyelashes over there because it looks repetitive. You can also use the masks. Let's try to remove this repetitive area. And there we go, we have fixed it. No problem, fixed. So this is the after, before, after, before. Now, as you can see, as we moved the eye, there is a dark patch right over there on the top before, after. So we need to remove that. You can easily do it by using any tool that you like, but we're going to try using masks, paint white over here. Okay. And that's much better. We have fixed it. Fixed. Erase that extra area and it's fixed. Done. To sum it up, all you need to do, make a selection around the eyeball, give it some space, put it on its own layer, using masks and a brush, make sure the foreground color is black, in the mask, paint around the corners, make it soft, and then using warp by pressing Ctrl or Command T, right click and choose warp, align the edges and you're pretty much good to go. Then you can adjust it using the masks or if it's severe, you can also use the clone stem tool and the healing brush tool, so on and so forth, patch tool as well. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.